गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन आई अजीत सिंह फ्रॉम कर्नल्स ब्राइटलैंड पब्लिक स्कूल विल टीच यू कंप्यूटर ऑफ ग्रेड फाइव सो डियर स्टूडेंट दिस इज़ अ पार्ट थ्री वीडियो फॉर द चैप्टर फाइव मोर ऑन एम एस पावर पॉइंट टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन सो लेट स्टार्ट विद न्यू टॉप ओके लेट एस टॉक अबाउट स्मार्ट लुकअप नाउ स्मार्ट लुकअप इज अव फीचर इन ऑफिस टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन This feature allows you to find the information for the selected word or phrase on the web using the search engine Bing. It does not force you to open up the web browser every time you need a quick word definition. To make use of this feature, select the word or phrase which is to be searched. Click on the review tab and select the smart lookup option from the insights group. Or right click on the selected word or phrase and select the smart lookup option from the shortcut menu. The smart lookup task pane will appear on the right side of the slide with results from various online resources. It also contains two tabs, explore and define. The explore tab previews the information associated with the selected text from different online resources. The define tab contains the definition and pronunciation for the selected text. Let me give you a tip. You can also open the smart lookup window by typing the word to be searched in tell me text box and select the smart lookup option from the drop down list. Okay, let me tell you about ink annotation now. Office 2016 provides you with another amazing feature that enables you to ennote with ink to write notes, create shapes, highlight a key concept and much more. You can also convert the hand drawn shapes to inform geometric shapes by selecting them and then selecting convert to shapes. Let us learn how to handwrite the text. To write notes in your own handwriting, follow the given steps. Select the review tab and click on the start inking option from the ink group. This will display the pen tab with various ink tools. By default, the pen option is selected in the right group. Choose a colored pen from the pens group. Click on more drop down arrow to view more options for your selection. To change the ink color or thickness of the pen, click on the color and thickness options under the pens group. After selecting the ink options, you can write your notes with the help of a stylus, light pen or a mouse. Let us learn how to highlight the text. Follow the given steps to highlight the text in your presentation. Select the highlighter tool in the right group on the pens tab. Choose a highlighter from the various options under the pens group. Drag your pen or stylus over the text that you want to highlight. Let us learn how to draw in your presentation. To draw an object or a shape in your presentation, from the pens tab, select the pen tool in the right group. Choose a pen from the pens group with appropriate color and thickness and draw an object or a shape. To convert your ink drawn shape into common geometric shapes, select the option Convert to shapes in the ink art group on the pens tab. Draw a shape and you will observe that it is automatically converted to a similar geometric shape. Convert to shapes is a toggle button. Students know that PowerPoint can convert only the drawings that look similar to common shapes. If it is not near to the geometric shapes drawing remains unaffected. Let us learn how to delete annotations. Select the eraser tool in the right group on the pens tab. Click on the required eraser type by clicking on the drop down arrow of the eraser option. Move the eraser over the text or drawing that you want to erase. Okay, let us learn how to select objects. The lasso select tool on the pen tab allows you to select an object drawn by a pen tool. To select the object, choose the lasso select tool in the right group. The pointer changes into plus symbol. Drag the mouse to encircle the part that you want to select. A faded selection region appears around the object. While delivering your presentation to the audience, you may need to emphasize a word or phrase or make some explanatory notes on the slides. Slideshow view provides you with various options to annotate your presentation. To add ink annotations during the slideshow, right click on the slide where you want the annotation pen to appear. Select the pointer options from the context menu. 
Now select the pen or highlighter option as desired. Change the color by selecting the ink color option and choosing the desired color from the palette. Use pen or highlighter either to write or emphasize text. Similarly, you can use laser pointer feature to highlight the key points on the slide. Unlike the pen and highlighter, the laser pointer will not leave any marks on the slide. Students, let us talk how to view a presentation. You can view your presentation in different formats such as normal view, slide sort of view and slideshow view depending on the task at hand. Most of the view buttons are available in the presentation views group on the view tab. By default, a user works in normal view. Let me tell you about normal view first. It is the main editing view which is used to write and design the slides for the presentation. In normal view, you can add text, graphics, sound, animation and other effects to your slides. It has three parts. You can have a large view of an individual slide in slide pane, notes in notes pane at the bottom and slides displayed as thumbnails. In slide navigation pane, all at the same time. Click the thumbnail of a slide to view it in the slides pane. To open this view, select the view tab and click on the normal button from the presentation views group. Or click on the normal view button located at the bottom of the slide window. Let us talk about outline view. The outline view displays only the text on your slides in the outline pane. This view allows you to quickly edit the text on the slides and view the contents of all the slides at once. Use outline view to create an outline or storyboard for your presentation. You can get to outline view from the view tab on the ribbon. It displays the slide text in the outline pane. Note the fact, in PowerPoint 2013 and later, you can no longer get to outline view from the normal view. You will need to get it from the view tab. Let me talk about slide sorter view now. It displays a miniature view of all the slides of a presentation in horizontally sequenced thumbnails. Slide sort of view is helpful if you need to change the order of slides, insert or delete the slides, add transitions and set the timings for the slide show. Select the view tab and click on the slide sorter button from the presentation view scroll. All the slides of your presentation will be displayed in thumbnails with a thick border around the selected slide. Let's learn about notes page view. You can show or hide your notes with the notes button at the bottom of the slide window or you can get to notes page view from the view tab on the ribbon. Clicking on the notes button will open a notes box at the bottom of the slide. You can print your notes or include the notes in a presentation that you send to the audience or just use them as indications for yourself while showing the presentation. Let me tell you about reading view. Using this view, you can view the presentation as a slideshow that fits within a window. It contains some buttons at the bottom right corner that allow you to navigate through your presentation and switch to other views. In this view, taskbar is also visible. To enter into the reading view, either click on the reading view button on the view tab or select the reading view button at the bottom of the slide window. Let us talk about slideshow view. The slideshow view is used when you deliver your presentation to audience. It is just like the pictures in a photo album. It displays all the slides in the presentation one by one on the full screen. You can select the slideshow view button at the bottom of the slide window or select the slideshow tab. It displays commands that help you with various choices to run the presentation. You can use any one of the following options to run the slideshow. From beginning, start the slideshow from the first slide. From current slide, starts the slideshow from the current slide. Present online, this feature broadcasts the slideshow to remote viewers who can watch it through web browser. Custom slideshow, it displays only the slides you select. You can also use F5 key to view the slideshow. Students know the fact that the present online feature requires a network service to host the slideshow. You can send the link URL of your presentation to your audience by an email. Let us learn how to rearrange slides now. You can rearrange the slides of a presentation in normal, outline and slide sorter view. Let me first tell you about in normal view. 
Open the presentation in normal view. In the slides navigation pane, select the thumbnail of the slide and drag it to its desired position. Now let me tell you about in slide sorter view. Open the presentation in slide sorter view. Select the thumbnail of the slide to be moved and drag it to its desired location. Let me give some important tips. To move to the next slide in the slide show view, either click the mouse button or use the enter or space bar key. To quit the slide show, press the escape key on the keyboard. In an outline view, open the presentation in outline view. Select the thumbnail from the outline pane and drag it to the desired location. A horizontal line appears as you drag the slide. Let's learn how to work with slide outline view. The outline view is quite similar to normal view except that it provides a summary of each slide in the outline pane. You can do the following tasks in the outline view. Create presentation structures, edit text entries and rearrange the text on slides as needed. Hide or display text levels. Let us try the following activity which demonstrates the use of outline view. Create a new presentation. Select the outline view from the presentation views group on the view tab. In the outline pane type special days for special people next to the slide icon. Now press the enter key. As you press the enter key a new slide appears. Type mother's day and press the enter key. A new slide appears. Right click at the cursor position and click on the demote option. You will observe that the slide icon disappears and the text moves to one level lower. Type the text as shown in the figure and press enter. Now right click again and choose the promote option from the context menu. A new slide appears. Repeat the above two steps to enter information related to Father's Day, Brother's Day, Sister's Day and Friendship's Day. Bring the mouse pointer right next to the slide icon. Right click at cursor position and select collapse option from the shortcut menu. It will hide the bulleted text relevant to the selected slide and displays only the slide title whereas collapse all hides the bulleted text for the outline of the entire presentation. Now right click option and select the expand option from the context menu. It will reveal the bulleted text relevant to the selected slide whereas expand all reveals the bulleted text for the outline of the entire presentation. Okay students, let us take a recap. Thank you dear students for watching that video.